Hello and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, you can blame America's highways for this. No, really. Uh, I want to blame John Tyre from Tires on a Road for this. He did a video um, probably about three, four months ago. Uh, there's eight ceiling lights and he took these three and put them on a separate switch. That way if you're just cooking or something, you can only have those three on instead of lighting up the whole area. I really thought it was a good idea. But I wasn't going to do it. Then I started thinking boondocking, battery usage. Would you rather have three lights lit or eight lights lit? So I decided to take this on. And of course, I'm going to add a dimmer switch. This will be my eighth Rec Pro dimmer switch. So I don't think I'll, I'll be installing any more. But yeah, this is my eighth one. So. Um, I watched John's video again, and he had a couple differences than what I have. Um, number one, my power from the switch comes up to this light up here by the door. His power from the switch comes up to this light. Uh, that's one of the differences. And another difference, I'm going to get the camera, I'll show you the third difference. Okay, now I said that he had eight lights in his ceiling. I'm going to show you mine. Okay, so there is one, there is two, and then we come all the way over to here, and there's three, and it's the same on the other side. There's one, all the way over to two, and there's the sixth light. Okay, for some reason, Alliance only put six lights in here. I don't know if it's supply and demand. This uh, camper was manufactured in September of 21, so COVID really wreaked havoc on the uh, supply chain. And uh, I checked other uh, R RLS 32 campers, and they, everyone I've looked at has eight. Now, John has a RLS 30. Um, the layout's the same. It's basically the same camper. There's a couple minor di differences, not that much, but uh, uh, the lighting definitely isn't one of them. So I ordered two lights from uh, Alliance and uh, we're gonna get them installed. So let me show you what all I got going on here. Okay, the way they ran the wires, um, I didn't think they'd run them that way. I just thought they'd go straight down, come over and then come back up. But uh, here's what they did. Now this is the power coming in from the switch and that's by the door and from there it goes to this light and then from that light it goes back to this side over to this fixture and then it goes over to that fixture and it shoots back over the other side and picks up that fixture and picks that one up and it dead ends there okay so i have most of the wiring ran um i had tried on another project to fish a wire through here to get down to where the master control panel is i couldn't do it john had no no problem so what i did here was i took the light up above the toilet in the bathroom and i can fill all the wires up there and I pulled back on this wire and I found it. So I just tied a string onto here, pulled it back, then pulled that wire back along with another one for the new lights. Uh, if I do any more projects in here, I'm gonna have to get some more pull string because uh, I only have a little bit left. And also what I did was from that light fixture in the bathroom, I have it coming over to this light and then I have it going all the way down to this light, just in case someday I want 12 volt or 110 power in this cabinet. I already have a string going back into uh, the uh, bathroom that I could access to pull either 110 or 12 volt. Uh, you never know, I might decide to do something, so it's good to have a string there. Okay, so I have most of the uh, wire ran. I still have to run a couple more wires, but first I need to cut the hole for the, the new fixtures. Um, I ordered a hole saw off of Amazon. It was only, I, I don't know, I think it was less than 20 bucks, but it's a five and a quarter, I think. Five and an eighth. 
Okay, so what I did, you can see the string here. I just ran a string over between the two fixtures. I measured, got the halfway point, and right up here is where I'm going to drill my hole. Uh, I checked up there as best I could through the existing holes. I don't think there's any wire running through there, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. All right, so uh, once I start this, there's no turning back. So let's get this hole cut out, and hopefully uh, there are no wires up there. Um, there, sh there shouldn't be, but we shall find out. Now all I need is for Becky to come walking in right now because she would, uh, she might need a volume. I don't want to plunge it all the way up in. One, because if there are wires, and two, if... Um, I don't want to catch the insulation. There we go. All right, didn't catch, didn't catch the insulation, and I don't see any wires. Just uh, the insulation batting. All right, we're gonna try the light, see if it fits. It's a little tight. Uh, I'm gonna have to notch it on a little bit, just where the screws are. I probably should have went with uh, five and a quarter for these lights. It's not bad though. Okay, so my next step is I have to get a wire from here to here, and it shouldn't be too hard. All right, let's see how easy this is. Sometimes it's uh, fairly easy, and sometimes it's not. Well, I just missed. There's a structural support right here. I just missed it. I didn't feel it when I was pushing. I'm going to have to make sure when I cut the other hole, I get my measurement correct off this uh, trim piece because that's what I'm going to measure for over here. All right, so I got the wire uh, taped off to the uh, fish stick, and we're just going to give her a quick yank here, and we're good. So that was easy, and I forgot to leave a tail. Okay, now we're going to cut out the other side. Okay, I feel something right in here, so let's hope for the best. If not, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Oh, and we got, we got something in there I wasn't figuring. I don't know what it is. It's loose. I can actually move it around. So that's why I didn't feel it when uh, I was pushing, because it's not... I feel something here, so I don't know what they got going on here. So we're going to have to figure that out. Yeah, whatever that piece is, I don't know. It's, I mean, I can move it around pretty good. It's like there's maybe one screw on it. I don't know what in a world it could be. Let's see how the light fits in there. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a roof truss. It's just a... Uh, Feels like a one by three. Let's see if we can get this in here or not. I'm gonna have to notch it. Okay, I'm gonna worry about this once I get the wires um, pulled. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'll be back in a minute and uh, I'll figure out the wires. Okay, John uh, in his video, he touched on these Wago fittings. They are outstanding i wish the whole camper had these in it but instead they're using these crimps that are okay but if you don't get the wire stripped right or crimped hard enough um they can come out pretty easily i missed but anyway yeah these things are pretty good uh what i do i've mentioned in other uh videos what i do is you can see the logos on the one tab that is where I put the power in, uh, so that'd be your, your line. And then coming out would be naturally the, the other side. So this is hot. Put that on, yeah, you can see that. And then the ground, I will put on the lo logo on this one. And then my fixture, the same thing. I take my black for the light, 
put it on the power, power side. And when you put them in, always give them a little tug. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I was tugging a little bit once I uh, get them in there and snap it closed. And that's it. And we'll throw this up. And we're almost done. Okay, I got all the uh, wires ran. I got the fixtures in. Um, the lights with the eighth and an inch hole saw. I just need to groove out two spots just for uh, two sections on a light to fit up. But an inch and a quarter uh, hole saw would work perfect. So let's take a look. Okay, we got all the lights. Uh, the fan's a different story. Got all the lights in. And now we're like every other avenue, 32 or 30 with eight lights. Uh, what I did was I went to this light and I jumped over to this one and then from here I went to this light and then I shot over to that light and then to that light so it's uh, supper time I am getting hungry I'm gonna call it uh, the day um, next I'm gonna do the switch I'm kind of up in the air about placement for the switch let me show you what my options are okay I actually have this uh, marked off that is where I was gonna put it and then I started thinking what about right here it would have to be back here there's uh, some support here but back here is all good I was thinking there it'd be a lot easier if you're standing at the uh, counter and wanted to turn the lights on real quick you would have to come over here so I'm gonna think about it tonight and uh, I'll decide by tomorrow where I'm going to put it uh, let me see here where are they this place is a major mess <laughs> I found them I actually made little uh, we go like that little templates for the switches this one's for a dimmer and this one is just for an on and off switch. I don't have one for the micro switches. Uh, someday you never know. Alright, I'm going to go eat. See you all in a bit. Okay, project's all done. Uh, I'm liking it. I might change it down the road. I'm going to try it for a little while. But I didn't go over how I picked up power down here. Um, I think I mentioned in another video that I had a couple empty fuses. And I hooked up to one of those for... Um, wiring that I I've added so I, I just hooked up to that wire down here I figure you can pick up power just about anywhere in here so let me show you where I decided to put the switch yeah so I uh, talked to Becky about where she would like it she really didn't care um, I think uh, once she uses it she'll like where I put it but let me show you where it's at okay I decided to put it here uh, there's a slide on and off and I erased my pencil marks down here yeah I thought that'd be a lot easier when you're standing here at the stove and you need the extra light you can just come over here hit the switch and it's on dimmer down do whatever you want we don't want to do that on video though because it makes it funky there we go all right, so I'm going to turn the uh, main lights off and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, and that's the main lights off. Be nicer uh, if it was dark, you'd be able to see a lot better. And there's the three lights. And I'm not 100% sure. I may end up changing this around a little bit. Let me uh, show you what I'm thinking. Okay, this light up here, I'm not sure if i want to keep that on we're going to try it for a little while and see these two might be enough to shine some light down there and what i did was coming from this light i left the wire that w that went over to here so all i have to do is unhook the wire here which it's coming from here and hook that wire back up and hook it up here and then that'll put this light 
on all the other lights with the same switch. So we're going to try it out for a while and see how just the three lights work. I may disconnect the third one and just play it by ear and see what happens. Okay, that's a wrap. Um, this wasn't that hard. This camper, I should have got a video of this camper, how bad it was. But I had stuff everywhere. The floor was just a mess. And uh, I just got finished cleaning today and I figured I'd wrap this video up. So hopefully this helps somebody out. And once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.